Here's the deal. I factor reset my computer because I had like a lot of issues with uh, the memory storage in my MacBook. And then it's supposedly to come back and be just a brand new computer. However, I was still having problems with my, my internal memory, or, which means my storage uh, memory. And uh, I was actually looking at it, and then I noticed that I have, uh, right now, I do have 23 gigas, as you can see, in all other volumes in container. And back in the day, like, I don't know, um, half hour ago, I had almost uh, 95 gigas in this volume that I, I had no idea how to fix it and I was actually looking online I mean look on YouTube I, I did a research I wasn't able to find like a really helpful information so I was just I'm tech guy I kind of I kind of am tech guy so um I really enjoy looking around so that's exactly what I did um I noticed that I have this to uh, HD now, and that was the issue when I uh, factory reset my computer, um, because I somehow, at some point, I messed it up and I, I made a backup, basically, for all the information that I had on my computer before. And that's exactly what this, um, other volume means it means that you, all the volume that you had before in your computer it is there somewhere and it's all piled up somewhere and that's where you need to find out where that is in order to actually uh, delete all the information uh, I was able to go in the finder here and I Notice that I also have this one now, and then here in this in this folder, I had exactly the same information. I had my applications and a library, a library, and I had like another one for my Lightroom information, and that was all the information that I had previously in my computer. So I just noticed that because I went into the uh, photos that I had before and I was stored storage in there so what I decided was if I get them you know mess it up my computer this is time now <laughs> and I just deleted uh, I started deleting one folder uh, that had the pictures and then I deleted the older uh, fold folder that it was the applications and that's how I ended up with only th 23 gigas and here, that's what I have left. So that's all this information here. And as soon as they lit this and then clean the, the trash, and that's how everything is gonna be cleaned, honestly. I had no idea before, I looked it up everywhere and it wasn't helpful. So I will just Start with the library, move to trash. Okay, it's in trash right now, as you can tell. And empty trash, empt. And now it's gonna be work on emptying the trash and it would take a good amount of time sometimes so as you can tell there's 24 28,000 items in the fold so see and now back here I only have 18 gigas now left for the storage so it's all means that it's everything here which is insane uh, that it would just save it all and now I have a you know, seven seven one gigas as a as of a, as as of a available right now, and that's it. That's how you delete it.
Now let's finish it. It is in the trash and now empt the trash. Let's close it. Close this one. Hopefully it did clean the whole thing. Not yet. I still have 15 and here I still have 31 gigas. So I don't know where that is. I will look it up and I will let you know. So I turn off my computer, I turn it on, come in and R, hold it mm, until it would play the the screen that you might have this screen or you might have another screen that will be able to reset the whole thing. But what I'm gonna do here, um, what I did actually to clean the disc was disc utility, continue. And then in here, I was able to uh, do not mess it up with, with this or you won't have a system to restore afterwards. But this guy right here up here, uh, it was the one that that was holding all the, the 15 gigas that I had left there. So I erased the whole thing. I also had one more down here, another tab that I was able to delete. And then all the information is gone. And now I finally have 120 uh, as a memory, which is what I was looking for. So I just needed to close here and then now just reinstall the Mac. And there we go. And now I hopefully gonna be able to uh, reinstall the, the, the Mac OS and I now will be able to use the whole memory of it and finally be able to use my computer I was hoping for. So here's the deal. I just deleted everything and then I reinstalled the macOS and now it's good to go.